Hey guys, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video, I'm going to recap vectors and scalars, as this is something you should have done at National 5 level. So let's get started. What you should have learned at National 5 level is the difference between a scalar and a vector quantity. So the two definitions are given here, and it says that a scalar quantity consists of a magnitude or size only. So magnitude is just a fancy word for size. And a vector, on the other hand, is a quantity that consists of a magnitude, a size, and a direction. So to make a bit more sense of this, let's look at some examples. So we've got some examples of typical scalars and typical vectors. So for scalars, we have distance, speed, mass, time, and energy. And for vectors, we have displacement, velocity, acceleration, and force. So for all these things on the left-hand side, they only have a size or a magnitude, whereas all these things on the right-hand side have a magnitude and a direction. So we care about direction for these ones, but we don't care about direction for these ones. And you might notice that I've put the first few in a particular order because you might remember from National 5 that displacement is the vector form or vector equivalent of distance, whereas velocity is also the vector equivalent of speed because a velocity is just a speed with a direction. And similarly, a displacement is just a distance with a direction. But we said that direction is not important for scalars. So for example, if we were talking about the time taken for a certain journey, we never talk about the direction of that time because it just doesn't make sense. So just to summarize, a scalar only consists of a magnitude or a size only, whereas a vector consists of both a magnitude and a direction. That's all from me, folks. I hope you found the video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.